Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and today we are going to do a benchmarking test review of HTC U11 Plus a smartphone. It comes with a Snapdragon 835 processor, Adreno 540 GPU, 6 GB of RAM, 128 GB internal storage and 6 inch WQHD screen and the device runs on Android 8.0 Oreo OS. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are entry benchmarking, Geekbench 4, GFX Bench GL, Basemark OS 2 and Basemark X. We have already performed all of these benchmarking tests to save you time and we will have a look directly on the test score results. And then we will do a comparison with the rest of the latest flagship smartphones as well. So let's start it. So first of all, let's start with entry benchmarking. Here we go. So our HTC U11 Plus scored 182,720. And if you go to the ranking tab, here you can compare the result with the rest of the smartphones. So you can see that our device is at third position. On the second position is iPhone 8 and the first position is occupied by iPhone 8 Plus. And right below the HTC U11 Plus is the OnePlus 5 with 181,000 score. So you can see that the performance of HTC U11 Plus is flagship and it is among the top 3 flagship smartphone of 2017. So let's go back from here and now let's have a look on Basemark OS 2. And here is the test result, it's 3346 and you can also have a look on the individual test scores for system memory graphics and web browsing and this score 3346 is also a very nice flagship performance by HTC U11 plus if you watch our previous videos of other flagship smartphones you will find that most of the flagship smartphones of this year they are scoring around 3200 or 3300 so this is once again a very nice very flagship performance from HTC U11 plus now let's have a look on Geekbench 4. This test is divided in two parts. And for CPU test, once again it is divided in single core and multi core. As you can see for single core the score is 1938 and for multi core it's 6707. And if you go to these individual tabs you can compare the benchmarking test scores with other smartphone. So you can see that our device is at the top position with 1938 score and few other smartphones like Galaxy S7, Note 7 they score in the 1800 and 1700 range. And if you go to the multi-core here you can once again see that our device is at the top position with 6707 marks. Second position is occupied by Note 7, Galaxy S7 is at the third position. There are not much flagship smartphones of this year but if you compare the result with other smartphones by watching our previous videos you can see that once again this score is really among the best and even better than few of the other flagship smartphones of 2017. Now let's go back let's have a look on GFX Bench. This is basically a GPU benchmarking test so it gives the idea about the graphics performance of the device. It is divided in many different tests. So here is the result. You can see that for many different GFX Bench tests, for example, car chase, car chase off screen, Manhattan, Manhattan 3.1. And here is the test result and FPS it got in each of these benchmarking tests. So here once again performance of Adreno 540 GPU and Snapdragon 835 processor is really nice. If you go to the compare tab, you can compare the scores with the rest of the flagship smartphones. So as you can see that for car chase performance is not so great. The average score is 803. There are a few other devices with better score. Our device is somewhere between Xiaomi Mi Mix and all. If you go to 1080p car chase off screen you can see that here performance of U11 plus is really good 
and it's among the best. It's at the second position exactly here. And other flagship smartphones like Galaxy S8 noted they scored below it including the Razer phone and Asus Zenfone Pro. Then there is Quad HD Manhattan office screen test here. Once again performance is good, not so great. It's scoring close to the iPhone 7 Plus and Galaxy Note 8. And then there is Manhattan 3.1 here. It goes down as well a bit. Right next to Huawei Honor 9, Zebra Technologies TC15 as you can see. It's a huge list to compare exactly. And then there is 1080p Manhattan 3.1. Here once again performance is good. It's coming among the top 10 devices at this position with ZTE NX595 Nubia. The score is exactly same for both of these devices. Razer phone is scored below our HTC U11 Plus. And then there is the score for Manhattan 2246, 1080p Manhattan off screen and that's all. So you can get the idea about the gaming performance of HTC U11 Plus that it is scoring really good in few of the tests. In few tests the performance was not so great but in most of them it performed equivalent to rest of the flagship smartphones. And now let's go back from here and now let's have a look on Benchmark X. It is also a gaming benchmarking test and it gives the idea about the performance of GPU here again. So if you go to the result, the score is 44,709 and this is a really good score. Most of the flagship smartphones of this year, they scored around 42 to 44,000 and once again you can see that HTC U11 Plus is also scoring in that range. So the performance you are going to get from HTC U11 Plus is not going to be lower compared to any other smartphone of this year. But these are just the benchmarking test scores. We will do a detailed gaming review of HTC U11 Plus very soon where we will see that how good this device is going to perform in real life scenario not only in the benchmarking test scores. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.